Julie Deal. And I'm Heather Dehart. And we're the groomers here at Demoiselle's Dog Grooming Parlor. And um, we are doing our Breed of the Month video. And for this month's breed, we decided to do Doberman Pinscher. Um, this is my personal Doberman, uh, Centiri. So we're going to be talking a little bit about their personalities today. They, they're a working dog, so they need a lot of need a lot of exercise basically um you know if you're the kind of person you just want to sit down on the couch and relax you don't really like going and doing you're not very active probably not the best breed for you um just because they do need a job to do um you know they're great dogs for obedience training agility um you know protection work things like that but they do need a job to do so they're very active dogs um so they're good for people with a lot of energy um so let's just get right into it. Um, you know, they do have some like heart issues and um, bond water bands and um, wobblers. Um, that lifespan is usually about average, but if just always keep in mind, the larger your breed, the shorter the lifespan. Mm -hmm. um, like Great Danes, you know, they're large with short, large um, chest, barrel chest, yeah. you know, they, just remember, the larger you go, the shorter the lifespan. But their lifespan's pretty average, and they're all right. You know, they just have a few health problems. But other than that, they're pretty good. Yeah, so finding, you know, a reputable breeder who tries to breed away from those health issues is a yes. really good thing. Um, also, their um, environment, they're very, they're highly sensitive to the cold. Um it's kind of like with us. If it's too cold outside for us, it's way too cold for them. Um, so, um, she's a little bit of a pig, but. And this one likes to eat. <laughs> she loves to eat, so. Um, but yeah, so, you know, you just wanna make sure that you're not leaving them outside. They're not outdoor dogs. Um, they're very clingy. They're, they call them Velcro dogs. Um, they have to be with people. And I think it's mostly because they were bred for personal protection. So they're very in tune with people or their owners. Um, they have to be with you at all times. So if you're just gonna throw the dog in the backyard, um, they won't thrive on that. Um, and especially if it's cold, they they really do not like the cold. Um, so um, grooming is very minimal with these dogs. You know, they have the real short hair and stuff. You know, it's always a good idea to at least, you know, even with minimal grooming, always to keep their ears clean and at least a good bath every now, you know, I'd say at least, you know, what, every two weeks or so, yeah. you know. Yeah. You don't want to dry the dogs out, but you also want to make sure that their, health, their skin is staying healthy and clean. Um, and brushing, you know, that's probably once once a week, you know, yeah. um, making sure you keep their nails trimmed is always, you know, a good idea mm -hmm. so that they don't get out of control. But, yeah. you know, as far as these breeds, the grooming is very minimal. Yeah, so, I mean, if you you don't want to be making tons of visits to the groomer and keeping up with brushing and combing daily, this is a great choice of dog because their grooming is, like she said, very minimal. Um, so you won't be needing a whole lot in that department. So another thing is uh, their trainability. Uh, these dogs are very trainable. Um, probably one of the easiest dogs to train. They're very trainable, but you do need to make sure you get training for these dogs um, just because it is such a strong breed and these dogs were bred for protection. So if you don't work with these dogs, aggression issues, you know, that can be an issue. Um, just in that you know that can happen with any dog but especially a dog like this um, you know you want to make sure that you get them training at a young age and really work with them um, but they're very trainable so it's not going to be hard but you might get a stubborn one like I have <laughs> she is very loving and yes. um, you can tell like you know Kimberly is her owner you can tell that she's very sympathetic with her um, you can tell that she like you can tell who her owner is for sure mm -hmm. so like when you do get these breeds like it, you know it is very important that you do interact with them yeah so that they know who their owner is you know that they they seem to want to um 
you know, draw to you and yeah. you know to be very good with you and far as like family pets and stuff they're great oh, but yeah. you just need to make sure that they have the proper training for one but for two making sure that the whole family is interacting with this yeah. dog to let them know you know who is their family like yeah um but other than that they really are even good family pets just again proper training is, yeah is very very important um, yeah, because these dogs, they, um, they're very loyal breeds, very loyal, mm -hmm. um, I mean, they will not leave your side. If you need privacy, like, for a few minutes, they're not going to give it to you. These <laughs> dogs are going to be right at you all the time, 24-7, like, they have mm -hmm. to be with you. So, that's just the kind of dog they are, they're very clingy, um, but that's kind of, you know, the cool thing about this breed is they really make you feel special and loved, but mm -hmm. they're also the kind of breed, they're not going to be everyone's friend. Like, that's not to say that they're a loose cannon, you can't take them out. Definitely can, but again, with the proper training, but also, um, you know, they just, they don't bond with everyone, you know, they're just not going to, they're not the kind of dog. And of course, this is just a generalization, you know, each dog is different. But in general, the breed, like, they're not just going to run up to everyone and, like, make friends. You know, they know who their person is or their people, their family. That's who they gravitate towards and who they're loyal to. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of all there really is about the breed that we have to talk about. But they're really good dogs um, as long as you can provide them the proper environment and home and uh, training that they need. You know, and every breed is different, um, and all breeds, honestly, uh, no matter what it is, it needs the, it needs training, mm -hmm. um, and they all need to um, taken care of very well. And you know, yeah. if, if you do that, then most general breeds are going to be very good. Yeah. But just um, picking that right breed for you and your lifestyle absolutely. is going to be very important. Yeah. Um, Kimberly likes going on walks and hikes and, you know, she likes doing all kinds of stuff like that. So this breed does very well with her, um, you know, because she does have a job. She she does, um, like with her training, she's right there with Kimberly yeah. as she walks and runs and hikes, whatever she Kimberly wants to go do. <clears throat> Centuria is right there with her. Yeah. And she loves it. Like, you can tell she enjoys it. Like, so making sure that your lifestyle what you do on a daily basis or kind of do within a few days time like it's very important what breed you actually pick yeah it really is because this could be a great dog but for someone whose lifestyle doesn't match this breed it can be a nightmare for both you and the dog so right. picking that correct breed for you not just oh they're pretty or this is yeah. the kind of look i like you know you really can't base it off of that because you know this is the dog's life it's your life and you know these dogs they need they're gonna be with you forever so you really want to make sure that you have the right breed for yourself so hopefully this video you got to see a little bit about the breed and um, maybe a Doberman is in your future <laughs> but um, join us next time for or next month for our next breed of the month and um, let us know if you want to see a certain breed and we will get on that and talk a little bit about it